There are many who believe the giant ground sloth never went extinct and is still alive in remote areas of the Amazon jungle. Over 11,000 years ago, during the Pleistocene epoch, giant ground sloths were a unique species of prehistoric animals that roamed the Americas. These enormous herbivores, which weighed up to four tons and reached lengths of up to 20 feet, were among the largest terrestrial animals of their era. They belonged to the family Megatheridae. These animals ranged in size from tiny to enormous. Some species, such as Megatherium, were as big as contemporary elephants. The word megafauna, which refers to enormous animals that existed during the Pleistocene era, includes ground sloths. Unlike their current arboreal relatives, they had a muscular body and long, curved claws that allowed them to adapt to a life primarily on the ground. Strong, curved claws that helped them dig for food and protect themselves from predators allowed ground sloths to be incredibly adaptable to their surroundings. For the most part, they were herbivorous, consuming a wide range of plants such as fruits, leaves, and grasses. Ground sloths were comparatively slow-moving animals who relied on their power and size for safety, despite their amazing size. Their fossils have been discovered spanning from the northernmost parts of North America to the southernmost point of South America, demonstrating their extensive existence prior to their demise. It is estimated that the majority of ground sloth species became extinct during the Quaternary Extinction Event approximately 10,000 years ago. Records show, without exception, that the arrival of the mutated human species in any region was followed by the immediate extinction of their less evolved kin. Although the precise causes of their extinction are still up for question, it is believed that a number of factors, such as habitat loss, human hunting, and climate change are to blame. These enormous animals vanished around the same time when many other huge mammals, including saber-toothed cats and mammoths, became extinct. There have long been stories and beliefs concerning ground sloths' continued existence, especially in the isolated regions of South America, despite the scientific community's conclusion that they are long since extinct. These tales typically originate from the deep Amazon jungle, where reports of unusual sightings periodically spark conjecture about extinct species that may yet exist. The idea that there are live ground sloths is occasionally reinforced by anecdotal stories from residents or explorers who claim to have observed big, sloth-like creatures. However, there is no hard evidence to back up these claims, such as clear photos, remains, or other tangible proof. These reports are often viewed with skepticism in the scientific world because it would be remarkable for a large mammal species to survive for almost 10,000 years without being discovered by science. One significant cultural story that has been connected to the theory of living ground sloths is the myth of the Mapinguari, an Amazonian beast. Many people describe the Mapinguari as a terrifying animal with one eye, thick skin, a gaping mouth on its belly, and an awful smell. It is said to be a rainforest guardian, able to repel loggers and hunters. There are certain traits that ground sloths and the Mapinguari descriptions have in common, like size and long claws. The creature's legendary features, such its one eye and stomach-based mouth, are incompatible with any known mammal, not even ground sloths. The bipedal description, however, may have originated from observations of ground sloths standing on their hind legs to get food. And the second mouth may have been an incorrect interpretation of the ground sloth's enormous pouch-like mouth. Over time, there has been an intriguing shift in how the Mapinguari is portrayed. Before 1933, the Mapinguari were originally described in ancient legends as a shaman who changed into a hairy, humanoid cyclops. It was reported that this creature had backward-pointing feet, a feature common to mythological creatures all around the world intended to confuse trackers. Like the Bigfoot of North American folklore, several cryptozoologists of the 20th century entertained the possibility that the Mapinguari were an undiscovered primate. This signaled a departure from mystical explanations and toward the theory of an as-yet undiscovered species. But a very different notion also started to take shape. Some people suggested that the Mapinguari might actually be a giant ground sloth that had managed to survive. This theory originated with ornithologist David C. Oren, who gathered a number of anecdotal reports of the animal. These tales might represent sightings of the same enormous creatures that, according to the fossil record, became extinct at the end of the late Pleistocene, Oren speculated. Even if the scientific community is skeptical and there isn't any fresh fossil evidence to back up Oren's existence, his 1993 publication generated a lot of curiosity and media coverage. 
However, detractors are quick to point out that in the thousands of years that have passed since ground sloths are thought to have vanished, there isn't a single fossil indicating their existence. The idea that the Mapinguari is a live fossil from the Pleistocene is seriously hampered by this lack of concrete evidence. An additional element of excitement to the discussion came from a 2023 academic study that looked examined huge sloth bones found in 1995, which had been altered to resemble prehistoric pendants. This study revealed that humans and these enormous creatures may have coexisted, given the graphic richness of the Mapinguari legend which depicts the beast slicing off and devouring human heads. The study suggested that the gigantic sloth might have even served as an inspiration for it. According to some researchers, the first sightings of Mapinguari many years ago might actually have been Megatherium, which escaped extinction by hiding out in the protection of the jungle. It would make sense that some could survive by avoiding populous areas, as many feel that human invasion of their ecosystem was a contributing factor in the Great Extinction Event. The current understanding of the Mapinguari is probably an overblown account blown out of proportion via decades of playing telephone, if the Megatherium really did escape extinction. The Mapinguari's association with mythology and possible primordial history feed further conjecture and investigation. According to some experts, the Mapinguari tale may be a folk recollection of enormous ground sloths that was handed down through the ages from a time when these animals were still on the planet. The Mapinguari serve as a reminder of the enduring tie between humans and the complex tapestry of species, both real and imagined, that litter our world's past, whether as a sign of ancestral memory or as a fascinating puzzle for cryptozoologists. There is currently insufficient scientific data to confirm the existence of enormous ground sloths, despite these fascinating tales. It is challenging to support these statements with tangible evidence, like fossils or pictures. Hey! You're supposed to be the best tracker in the Amazon. Additionally, it appears impossible that such a large animal could have remained undiscovered for such a long time, considering the depth of scientific research conducted in the Amazon rainforest. Although it is intriguing to consider the possibility that enormous ground sloths exist today, there is no reliable scientific data to back up these theories. According to the fossil record, these amazing animals perished at the conclusion of the last ice age due to shifting conditions, much like the Pleistocene megafauna. Though fascinating, the Mapinguari story is probably a mix of folklore and possibly recollections of actual animals that have been extinct for thousands of years. The Mapinguari, like many other cryptids, is a reminder of the great biodiversity that previously inhabited our world and a symbol of the unknown. As a result, it never ceases to arouse amazement and curiosity about the natural world and its secrets.